Hello everyone, I'm Alan, also known as McLaren2009. Last night I made a video detailing the crash of two of my latest ships. In the second part of the video, when I crashed the Empress into the Condor, the crash was an epic catastrophe. And the video ended with me losing both ships and I thought I was unable to recover them until I watched a quick video this morning on how to use admin tools, and I was able to find both wrecked ships. So today I'm going to assess the damage done to both of them in the second crash that, if you remember, it was glitchy as shit. But, let's take a look and see what happens. Now, this time around, the Condor was actually subject to most of the damage, although I cannot adequately explain what damage was done in this crash. I know what was done up here. This broke when I crashed it into the Empress. However, this part over here, it should not have broken at all. Now, if you remember from the previous video, the Empress crashed into the Collectors right here. Like, it hit dead on. I didn't even miss. Yet, somehow, just this section, both on top and on the hangar doors below, are gone. Not a clue why. It looks like some kind of a saw cut through it, but it missed both of these thrusters. There's a separate impact right here. That honestly looks like where an atmospheric thruster exploded. Yes, there's supposed to be two, there's currently only one. Come up here to the island. The bridge is surprisingly intact. and it appears most of the systems are still functioning. Actually, hold that thought. Let's see... That's the level where the assemblers were. There's the oxygen generators. Alright, so one of the assemblers is still alive and kicking. As you can see from these connectors here, there used to be at least four of them. I could be wrong about that. But, since the damage doesn't seem to stretch down to the first floor, the reactor room may still be intact. Yeah. Totally. This room may even be pressurized. Actually, probably not, because that hole in the ceiling is right there. Okay, it defies most logic, but it appears one of the refineries is gone. This floor, or this hole, used to be a refinery. Yet, there's no other damage to suggest that it's gone, or nothing to say that it exploded, it's just gone. Like it came up out of the floor and shot out that hole. Impressive, but... Eh, it could happen. So, as you can see, the island is broke. Luckily, this side's kind of intact, so we'll go over here to go up to the upper decks. Or what might be mistaken for what's left of the upper decks. Alright. That was annoying. Had to fly over. Okay, now we're back up here to where the oxygen generators are. Oddly enough, the oxygen generators are still in one piece. All four of them? Wow. 
So yeah, there's at least there were nine oxygen generators on board this ship. How about that? Now, as you can tell, this is only the second deck. Let's go up to the third. What used to be the bridge. Gotta use the jetpack a little bit more for this project. Wow. You couldn't stand on this thing if you tried. And as you can see, the overwatch that had the control block and the antenna are both completely gone. There is nothing left. Let's look down here for a second. This part of the ship should not have been affected by anything, yet it appears the atmospheric thrusters that were up here on the deck are now gone, and all the thrusters that were over here appear to be... Actually, no, they're not missing. There's only three small, small ion thrusters missing. This right here was a shield. Well, he was also shielding these two large, I, yeah, large ion thrusters, which actually made up a bulk of its forward propulsion. Weird. Even the bottom one's gone. In the second video, I made a comment about uh, this particular connector not wanting to cooperate with the piston. I tried explaining that I wanted this to extend outward from the ship, but unfortunately the piston did not want to cooperate. I got it stuck in there, and then the piston could extend, but somehow putting this connector on the piston, this time it just didn't want to work. It tried saying it was detached or a different ship, yet somehow it could still feed things to and from it, but I decided it, looked, it was kind of weird and it looked stupid, so I got rid of it. And I replaced it with a static connector and conveyor system that you see there. Now let's go to the actual site of the impact. If you look over here, you'll realize that it's a little rough. If you remember from the video, right here in the center of the connector or collectors, is about where I said I've crashed or tried parking the ship in the hangar. Well, you see how well that worked out. Somehow the damage spread to over there, probably when the ship flipped over and started rolling together. This is when they came back together. Bottom line is, this thing got Fucked up. The damage even stretches below into the lower decks. Looks like some reactors are gone. Actually, depending on what compartment that is. No, reactors are in the next compartment over. So, once again, the reactors are completely unharmed. Because this walkway is the center line. The center compartment had hydrogen tanks. The fourth, the second compartment had hydrogen. And the fourth compartment, er, yes, fourth compartment had storage compartment containers. Although, which one this is? right end of the ship, so this is four. Or, no, this is two. This is where the storage tanks were. You know, the automatic, the just background music for the game is oddly fitting here. It's like that scene when they're exploring the wreckage of the Titanic. Well, in any regard, the damage is significant, but that's about it for this video. 
now to explore the Empress.